Hello, uh, welcome to a uh, digital slide review and uh, case uh, review with uh, Dr. Lewis Hassel, that's me, uh, coming to you from the University of Oklahoma Health Sciences Center. Uh, our program is uh, uh, directed towards uh, trainees in pathology, but others are certainly welcome to uh, listen and participate in the uh, uh, discussion comments. Today's patient is a 55-year-old uh, woman who uh, some time ago was discovered to have uh, breast cancer uh, that uh, on further evaluation uh, seemed to be involving uh, both uh, uh, breasts. Um, and uh, further workup showed uh, no direct evidence of metastatic disease, but she was uh, found to have uh, bilateral adnexal masses. Um, these were not, uh, however, pet avid. And so uh, conservative management was recommended and she began uh, treatment for her uh, breast cancer. Uh, with uh, attention uh, paid to the uh, pelvic masses uh, subsequently. I'll show you uh, what we've uh, got on the uh, uh, ovar ovarian lesions. Uh, both ovaries were cystic, um, and uh, one of the ovaries uh, was uh, multiseptated, partially uh, fibrotic. Uh, and here's a nice view of that over here. Uh, we can see a thickened wall with some normal ovarian structures. Um, and I'll just uh, come in uh, on high magnification on a couple of areas. One uh, over here, uh, we see a, sort of a fibrotic wall um, and a fair degree of uh, pigment-laden histiocytes and so forth, uh, sort of akin to what we would expect with endometriosis. Um, uh, these uh, inclusions did not appear to be definitely endometriotic. Uh, but on looking at uh, other areas over here, this sort of uh, adenofibromatous area here, uh, we see again uh, a little area of hemosiderin deposition. Uh, and on closer inspection here, we can see there is uh, features of uh, benign glandular epithelium with some subjacent uh, uh, endometrial type stroma. So it appears she has an endometriotic cyst and possibly an endometrioid uh, adenofibroma. Um, so one ovary is certainly taken care of and benign. However, the other ovary shows a more solid appearance um, and uh, potentially more concerning. Um, I think even at low magnification, you can appreciate there's a lot of blue here. Um, and uh, we also note there's a lot of sort of cystic and partially solid appearance. So uh, just considering the low magnification view of a tumor like this, uh, one should be concerned in the setting of endometriosis of uh, probably one of two things, either endometrioid adenocarcinoma or clear cell adenocarcinoma. Now, usually you would think a clear cell carcinoma uh, would have uh, a little bit more clear cells um, and uh, rather than uh, this more solid appearance. However, we do see some cystic spaces with sort of uh, eosinophilic fluid. Um, and the other feature, which even is apparent at low magnification, is this very rough appearance of these glandular structures. Uh, so we'll come in on a higher magnification. And I think you can appreciate uh, a very important feature that really easily helps you to distinguish clear cell carcinoma from endometrioid carcinoma. And that is, as you look at the lining epithelium, uh, in this situation, it's very lumpy. The lining uh, surface uh, to these uh, cystic spaces is bumpy, undulating, up and down, back and forth. Um, it is not smooth surfaced, tall columnar cells. Uh, and so that's a very quick distinction that says, this is clear cell carcinoma, not endometrioid carcinoma. Now, as we look at higher magnification, the cause of this lumpiness is the protrusion of the, the nuclei uh, without much surrounding cytoplasm into the lumen, forming the characteristic uh, hobnail cells. Uh, this is a nice example here. Now, sometimes this will be associated with very elongated cells, but sometimes it's just like this, a sort of cobblestone, uh, uh, bumpy, wobbly surface of this sort uh, that gives you this appearance. Um, immunohistochemical staining can be useful. Uh, HDMI1, of course, will be positive in uh, clear cell carcinoma, as will uh, NAPSIN A, uh, although that uh, positivity can be a little bit spotty. So the other feature that I think is very helpful to review in this situation is 
what does the uh, acidic fluid look like in a case like this if there's positivity? Uh, and in fact, this patient was sampled uh, cytologically. And as you can see here on our uh, thin prep uh, smear, uh, we have um, a few cell groups that are standing out. Um, there are features right here of just what we were seeing under the microscope with this tissue section, a, an apical nucleus, a little wisp of cytoplasm attached here. We also see that the other cells in this group are quite atypical. And again, the nuclei are very eccentrically placed. So given the three-dimensionality of a thin prep uh, like this, uh, this is entirely consistent with a small grouping of uh, clear cell carcinoma and should be reported as such. Well, uh, that's a very a brief summary uh, through a, a fascinating case, I think, of uh, clear cell carcinoma uh, with accompanying cytology and surgical pathology uh, to help you to see some of the differences that should be encountered, encountered in the setting of uh, endometriosis, uh, development of possible tumor. Now, one might wonder, ovarian cancer, breast cancer, does this patient have a BRCA mutation? Um, and of course, that question would be evaluated uh, by the uh, clinical team. Uh, in this case, it was uh, uh, not the case that there was a BRCA mutation. BRCA is not highly associated with clear cell carcinoma. However, uh, there was another uh, mut mutation that was detected that uh, potentially uh, places her in the uh, uh, cancer predisposition syndrome. So thank you so much for joining me for this very interesting case. And uh, please uh, give us a like and uh, consider subscribing to our channel so that you'll catch future releases. Uh, we try to cover a lot of different topics in the GI and GYN pathology, especially also touching on other areas of uh, head and neck pathology and some bone and soft tissue pathology as well. So look for uh, future releases. And until uh, then, thanks so much for joining me.